I think the key is asking better questions internally because what we ask internally our subconscious answers and so when i was asking questions like why can't i lose weight why is this so hard my my subconscious was answering with like oh well here's why you can't lose weight i want to give you the answer since you're asking them it's because you've had six kids and you have thyroid problems and you have all these mm. things and when i reframed that and asked questions like how can i be at peace within myself how can i love myself and my children more how is it so easy and fun to move toward a state of better health. Then my subconscious started giving those answers. And I also did a lot of different therapies. I, just like with the, the health side and the eating and the supplements and the exercise, I had tried so many things for so many years and none of them really moved the needle. Even though I was, I had followed every expert system, I had tried every plan. And when I started asking the, the questions and delving into the mental and emotional and spiritual side, without changing those other things, the body side started really falling into place. And ironically, I had to actually start eating more food, more protein, moving wow. less for a while to let my body heal. Um, but it was those subtle shifts. I also worked with some somatic therapists doing work with the idea of the body keeps the score that we mm -hmm. store physical trauma in our body. And there were areas of my body that were entirely numb. What areas were they? Was it like the lower half, the upper half? Like what was it? I believe Bessel van der Kolk wrote that book. I've perused the book. I've gone in there and read certain chapters and passages. But for people that don't know, that inspired a lot of others. I even think that Peter Levine, Waking the Tiger, probably was inspired in some way by Bessel van der Kolk's work. So for people that don't know, The Body Keeps the Score, is that a somatic experiencing book where you can actually go and find it in your body? Like what's the color? What's the shape? What's the texture? Where is it located? How did you unpack that for yourself, your own healing? It definitely delves into that. Um, for me, I had areas of my abdomen that were completely numb. Like I could touch my skin and not feel it at all. Um, part of that also went back to uh, my third child was a C-section. So I knew I had numbness from the actual scar, but there were whole areas of my body that I was detached from. Um, and that book just really opened my eyes for the first time to hear of the mind-body connection, but he delves into the science of the mind-body connection and how the body will basically store trauma to protect us. And so will the brain. And I think symbolically we create walls, emotional walls within ourselves to protect against those things, but the body actually responds to that as well. And if you wanna get more on the sciencey side, I was basically constantly in a sympathetic nervous system state, fight or flight, because I had never faced that trauma. And so of course my body wasn't gonna rest and digest and lose weight when it thought I was being chased by a tiger at all times. Yeah. And so um, one of the first somatic therapies I had, I remember like reliving the trauma. And then for two hours after my whole body shook, like that adrenaline shake, which animals naturally do. If an animal is almost kill, or like nearly killed in the wild, as soon as they're in safety, they often have that somatic shaking experience to let all the excess adrenaline out because animals have those kinds of experiences. Often they don't walk around with PTSD and unprocessed trauma and all these problems yeah. that humans have the experience. Animals are really good at letting things go. Yes. And so I had to learn to get re back in touch with my body and to work through it that way. 